welcome back to another Mother Chatter video with your host, it's me, it's Liam. Today I'm doing a bug battle request video, which is pretty much where you leave your bug battle requests in the comments down below and I will recreate them in the world of Grounded. So without wasting any more time, we'll just start with our first one, which is from Pizza Gamer, and he wants to see a moth against two wolf spiders. Do the thing! Do the thing! Do it! Do it! Do it! They ain't doing it! Right, I'm gonna have to get in there and get him to do it. I'll sing in la, la 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 la. La 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 oh god oh la 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 here we go they're going for it they're going for it they're attacking it oh I feel bad I I had to do it in like an enclosed space so I chose the little Schmeckdele just because otherwise the flying insects are just going to disappear and I thought it'd be kind of cool to get them to fight in here you know she's sort of getting um getting ruined by these two wall spiders from what it looks like she can't really move ain't my problem. Ain't my problem, blame Pizza Gamer. He's the one who wanted this. You sick, buddy. You sick. Oh, sh oh, she stunned one. Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. There you have it. There's the outcome of that one. Moth loses. Our next one is from Goofy Times Ahead, who wants something fairly, fairly simple, but I admire it for its simplicity. He wants two normal bugs against an infected. He gave the option of two lavas against an infected lava. Which, you know, but I thought I'd up it a little bit. That was just for instance. So I decided to do two wall spiders against one infected wall spider to see how they do. I hope, I hope I haven't failed you, Goofy. <laughs> one of them sort of in the, in the doorway. Not really sure how he got in there. He's way, he's way too big to fit in here. There is no way you, you should not be able to fit in here. What's going on? Get out. Get out. <laughs> look at him, look at him trying to join in over there. <laughs> He can't do anything! He's just jiving back and forward, look at him! He's trying his best! <laughs> oh, this isn't right, this isn't fair. I'm gonna have to do this again now. There we go, now we've got the 2v1. Goofy! Goofy, your request is coming true! Uh, well, your original one isn't, this is this is my version of it, because I thought I'd up it a little bit, but um... But yeah, I hope you enjoy this! Right, one is stunned already. Another one stunned. Uh, there you go! There you go! The infected ball spider is not as good as you think, and I imagine it'd probably go this way in most cases with the two normals against an infected. I'm pretty sure the two normals would beat it. Now, on to the next one! Ah! Uh, this next one is from The Visitor. Ooh, spooky, The Visitor. Ooh. Um, and pretty much he just wants 56... Uh... Oh, right, I read this wrong. I read this completely wrong. The Visitor, I am changing your request because I read it as just 56 spiderlings against the termite king, but you wanted widow spiderlings. Uh, but you're getting spiderlings anyway, because it was annoying to get 56 in the command. But I'm gonna do it anyway, we're gonna do it anyway. I feel like 56 black widow spiderlings would have probably beat it, so this might be a bit more, a bit more even. Attack him! Attack him! I don't think they're natural, natural enemies, so I might have to get in there and just sort of mess things up, you know? Oh god, they're all leaving! <laughs> no, again, they're all attacking me! He can't hit them, to be fair. He's not doing a very good job at uh, actually damaging them. Because by the time he... He's so slow, look. See, by the time he goes to hit them, they've already ran away. Oh, apart from him, he didn't run away. He died. <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare for him. Because he's so big and so slow, he just cannot hit them in time. Look, see, they've moved again. He can't land a hit. Uh, they're still going. He's killed quite a few of them, as you can see all of these... Poor little dead bodies down here. They they stunned him. They stunned him. I say this every time. Every time there is a fight with the Termite King. And I always say it every time because people need to know he is so boring because he just slows everything down. He's such a slow fighter. He takes ages to do anything. And it's even worse against little creatures because he literally cannot hit them. Yeah, health check. He is nearly dead. He is nearly dead. Wow. I should probably leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Going to show you that the size does not matter. It does not matter. Yay! Yay! Victory! He's won. They, they have won. They have won. All of these little spiderlings have won, which makes me think if I did do the original one and did widowlings, they would have absolutely wrecked him as well, considering normal spiderlings could. Uh, but yeah, congratulations on that one. On to the next! Now, this next one is from a guy called... I don't actually know how to pronounce your name. It's not that long. It's just... CO5RS, CO5RS, I'm going to call you that. So it's from CO5RS, and he wanted something that I thought was a little bit unfair, 
pretty much he wanted a broodmother against a weevil, just a regular weevil, which is obviously ridiculously unfair. So to make it a little bit more even, I put two broodmothers in just to make sure that the weevil doesn't absolutely ruin them. All right, so here we go. As you can see it. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, uh, it didn't, didn't last very long. I think, I, I think he's just playing dead. He's playing dead. This is the tactic of the weevil because we all know, we all know that this weevil would kill them hands down. So I think he's just, he's playing dead, waiting until one's turned around and now, now that that one's not looking, he'll go to this one. There you go, there you go. He did that, he did that. See, playing dead down there, playing dead. Look at him down there. And now, see, oh, that one's like, oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, I'm so scared. I'm going to get myself trapped in the wall. Um, and now, watch this. Oh, he killed them. Oh, my God, he killed them. He killed them. Yes, he killed them. Woo uh, but, yeah, that just goes to show that even with two broodmothers, the weevil still wins. It was kind of obvious it was going to happen. So, uh yeah, not really much of a challenge for him, but um, I imagine he'll he'll just walk off in a minute. So we'll we'll go on to the next one. Yeah, this next one is from Adam M. Hello, Adam M. He wants a flying insect battle. So pretty much all of the flying insects. You've got the moth, you've got the bee, the firefly, and the regular mosquito, which is something I've tried to do before a flying battle, but it didn't really work. But hopefully inside a Schmechter's base it does work. So let's put all four of them into this. Go. So they're all here. They're all here. Now the annoying thing is, is three of them are passive, so they're not going to fight each other. So I'm going to have to go in there and act as the old fire starter. Uh, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is, what is he doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> right, okay. We'll let it go. Right, I'm trying my best. But it is really difficult to get them to all fight each other. It's really hard. The bee's dead. So that one is now dead. The firefly's dead. Again, like, it, it's just, it just doesn't work for some reason because they won't fight each other because three of them are passive, which makes it really difficult to get them to fight. The only one that's aggressive is him. And now, see what you mean? They, they will lock off now. See? Nothing. Again. All that happens is a mosquito will attack me, and if I'm not there, nothing will happen. They are sort of all fighting each other. I don't know where the mosquito's gone. Uh, the mosquito is now out here. He's coming back. Uh, I don't know. It's just... Right, the bee is dead. The bee has actually died now. So we've got these two going at each other here. Oh, doesn't matter. He killed the firefly. So it's just the mosquito left, but he's out here attacking me. Uh, yeah, they just sort of lock off. Doesn't really work. Uh, that's that's as good as I can get it, to be honest. I imagine the moth would beat the, the mosquito. For some reason, they don't even fight. They've been hitting each other for ages. They won't fight. Those two died. I hope that's that's good enough for you. But yeah, that's as, that's as good as I'm going to get. So I'm going to move on because I'll be here for hours. This has taken way too long as it is. <laughs> but thanks for your comment. I'll move on to the next. And now the final one is from Epic Genius. Um, pretty much what he asked for was one of all robot against the Termite King. Now, for those of you who didn't see the World Cup, go and see, not the actual World Cup, the Grounded Bug World Cup that I did where there was probably around 10 videos. We had group stages, then the quarterfinals, semifinals, and finally the final. Uh, there was a match between Director Schmecht and the Termite King where the Termite King won, but only just, which makes me think the Termite King up against the Assistant Manager, Director Schmecht, and all of his little minions is only going to go one way. So he said to spawn in two termite kings, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I'll keep it keep it true to your original con comment, and I will just spawn in one termite king versus all of them just to see how he does. So he's taken down a little rusty there, which is you know you'd you'd imagine that from from the termite king. Uh, he's taken down the arc R. Uh, for some reason, the assistant manager is. Tr tr how did you even get in there? Like, how did you get in there? Why are you not attacking? So the assistant manager is somehow trapped outside of the map. Don't ask me how he got out there, but we'll, we'll... that's his own problem. That's his own problem. There we go. Now they're actually fighting. And yeah, there we go. He's killed all of the little minions. So the Arkar's gone. You've got the Taze T and the Rusty are gone. And it's just left with the two bosses, which is obviously the assistant manager and director Schmechter. And they don't fight each other. They're both robots, so they team up against each other. Uh, but so far, he's taken out three out of five, which isn't bad. Can he do the rest? Yeah, this is going to be a very, very long and boring fight. So, um, 
Although I would have probably cut this down to a couple minutes, this will probably go on, if I remember correctly, for like 15 minutes or so. It just takes ages. So, um, while I do that, uh, not sponsored by Harry Potter or anything, I just have a giant Hagrid mug, which, um, just to... You obviously don't know how big my head is, but it's like the same size as my head. It's big. Uh, give him a kiss. Uh, and I'll finish my, my tea. My tea, like my hands are pretty big as well. Um, taking it away from the bug bat, I'm not talking about it at the moment. Alright, okay, well, ignore that. I'm not going to finish my tea. Let's stop talking about my tea, because they actually killed him quicker than I thought they would. The, the termite king died. Uh, there you go, <laughs> there's your answer for that one. And now, now I will finish my tea. Yes! The final, the final battle. Me versus T. Woo! <sighs> um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, this is Bug Bat Request, so I will do another one. If you leave your comments down below, and I will pick out some random ones, some ones that sound pretty cool, pretty funny, and ones that I haven't done before. But thank you. If you enjoyed this, make sure to thumbs up because it helps spread it. Share it to your friends if they also like Grounded, like yourself. And subscribe if you haven't already. Ding the bell for more awesome content. Thank you and goodbye.